Hey you guys, I have been so excited to film this video. I just could not wait to share all these goodies with you guys. I've been hoarding these planner supplies that I've gotten from Amazon, collecting them all so that I could film a video and share it with you guys. I have gotten so many minimal chic planner supplies off of Amazon over the past month or so, and I'm just like so excited. I hope that you guys love them too. If you do end up getting any of this stuff, please share it on Instagram um, and tag me because I would love to see what you end up picking. Seriously, Amazon is the best. I don't know about their business practices, but their convenience and the things that I can order are amazing. Like I remember back in the day when I very first started in the planner community, if I wanted like kind of cutesy um, planner supplies or anything from like overseas, any of the cute Asian stickers, all that stuff, you would have to order it from like Etsy or just one of these like random websites and it would take forever to come. And now Amazon has all of that stuff and it comes most of it comes with prime within like two days so anyway i'm going to show you guys everything that i got it's kind of all spread out and not the most organized so i'm going to try to go through this in order i did want to say one quick thing before i get started i recently made a video about um this planner that i got from amazon and it is my most favorite planner i'm still using this I love this thing. Seriously, it's my, I just love it. It's the best planner. Um, I have it inside my Louis Vuitton desk agenda. And the other day I got a question on Instagram about um, the fit. Now I have probably ordered every single possible thing out there to go inside of my desk agenda. And um, there are notebooks that you can get that'll fit in there. This is the only planner I found that fits nearly perfectly. So the question that I got on Instagram was that um, she said that she she got the planner based on my recommendation and that it stuck out of her agenda a little bit and that is happening with mine too so so let me show you guys it does stick out just a tiny little bit um it's gotten to the point now where i don't really notice it so it's not that big of a deal for me but if you don't like that you can cut the back cover just a little bit trim it so that it fits like deeper into the pocket and so it won't stick out as much but honestly I just love this thing so much that that's like a small little price to pay um so I wanted to mention that because this planner is on my list of things that I love from Amazon when I got it I think it was like $15 but when I just went to check the other day it is now $10 so this is amazing. You guys have got to get this. I'm going to link the video down below. I just love this thing for a very clean, minimal look. Like I said, I have a complete video review on it, so I'll link that um, for you guys to check out, but I highly recommend getting this if you um, have a desk agenda or if you're looking for a really clean, simple planner. The other thing is that I had told you guys that I had ordered um, stickers for the front, my initial stickers for the front of this, and I went through so much with this company, and now they're back ordered, they're not coming, I don't know what's going on, so I still don't have my stickers, but as soon as I get them, I will share them with you guys over on Instagram, so make sure you're following me there. All right, next up, I got these craft paper stickers. Do you guys remember when the Target dollar spot was like the happening place to be for planner supplies? And and they used to have these just beautiful craft paper stickers for a dollar and I loved them because they were very simple very clean I really like this color palette um, with just like light neutrals browns grays um, that's really what I'm feeling right now and I haven't I don't go to Target that often I try to stay away um, but also I just the times that I have been there I haven't seen really great planner supplies there anymore in the dark in the dollar spot so I was kind of looking for um, something similar from Amazon and I ended up getting these so they are they're called all-purpose color labels you can obviously use them um, to print in the printer but I like them because they're the craft paper. Um, I don't do too much decorating in my planner, but I like these to kind of like offset maybe an appointment or a special occasion, um, or just you could use them for a variety of things. If you're doing a fitness tracker, you could use this to um, log your weight every week or however often you weigh. Just like fun little, just add a little something, you know, like I'm not trying to go crazy with the decorations, just a little something. So I loved these and I will have them 
them linked down below for you guys. And then along those lines, I also got these printer labels. Now, these are just clear printer paper. Okay. They're shipping labels. And I get these because I design my own stickers. Um, I do have them available for purchase. And in case you missed the announcement, my sticker shop is back. So if you are into really clean, chic, minimal, um, planner stickers, and you just want to add a little something to your planner designs, you should check out my shop. I'll have it linked down below for you. Um, they are DIY, which means you print them yourself and it's great because because you, once you purchase the file, you own it and it's yours and you can print it as many times as you want. So that means as many stickers as you want for just that one price. Um, and so all you have to do is buy um, shipping labels, clear shipping labels, or you can get um, the white ones as well but you want the full page. And so um, they're not like super expensive, but they're not like the most affordable either, if, especially if you get like the name brand ones. But I found these on Amazon and I've already printed on them and I really, really like it. So um, you can see it's the Neato Clear Labels. It's a transparent full sheet. So that is the key. There's 10 of them in here, eight and a half by 11. Um, and I stopped even keeping a printer at home because I just didn't want to mess with like the ink and all that stuff. So um, I take this to like a local like office depot or something like that and they will print it for me. You just give them this paper and they'll print it for you. So I've been really happy with this. Like I said, before I had been using like more of the name brand ones, but I thought this was a great affordable alternative. Um, and so if you print any kind of planner stickers, definitely grab these. All right. I also picked up a three pack of these, um, journals for my traveler's notebook. So these are, again, they have the craft paper cover, which I'm really into right now. And then the paper on the inside is kind of creamish colored and it's really nice, thick quality, and it's not unlined, just completely blank. And I love these. I got a gold glittery, um, traveler's notebook from where did I get it? Tuesday morning, I think for like $2 or $3, something like that. Super affordable. And I've been using that as my journal. I really believe in journaling and scripting for um, manifestation purposes, but also just to kind of, um, I think, refresh and reset my mind. Um, I view it as very therapeutic. Um, sometimes I will write out like wish lists in there. It's just really, sometimes I'll do like my morning pages if you follow um, the artist's way and they encourage you to just kind of free write in the morning. So I just use these for a variety of different things. And I feel like every time I'd see them on Etsy, they were really expensive. But a three pack, I have one more um, that's in my journal right now. This three pack, I think was like $5. So really affordable. Again, Amazon is just so good for these things. All right, one more like kind of boring paper product. Not really boring, but like, you know, not the most exciting. And then I'm going to show you guys the really, really, really good stuff. All right, so I wanted white sticky notes. And who knew that it was so Hard to find white sticky notes and they are so expensive you guys I had no idea first of all I went to Walmart and Staples I think I even checked Office Depot nothing none of them had it I didn't check Target but um I got these off of Amazon and I just wanted a really clean look I don't want like that little yellow um, sticky note. I didn't want the bright neon ones. I just wanted white. So anyway, um, these, okay, let me tell you about these. The quality is not the best. So they're not super sticky. Okay. But they're just so affordable. And I think you could use like either a really cute piece of, um, washi tape or you could use one of those craft paper stickers to kind of hold it down. It, it's not terrible, like let me show you guys, but it's just not like, see how the bottom like kind of sticks up a little bit. You know, it's just like, it's what you would expect. It's not like super high quality, but it's actually not bad. Um, I've kind of gotten into this, like the, the top pages of this pad were like really bad. They were not sticking at all. But now that I'm kind of into it a little bit, maybe like I've probably used 10 page, 10 sticky notes so far. Now you can see, actually it's sticking pretty well, but see, can you see that corner? That's like kind of 
going up a little bit. So, you know, it's not terrible, but I wanted sticky notes that I could use. Like I actually want to use these and write on them. I don't want to like be super precious with them. So it's okay for me if they're not like the best quality, but I did want you guys to know that they're not like, you know, superior quality or anything, but I think they're really great. They're a pretty good price and they're white. So pretty. And they all came individually wrapped. So um, and packaged pretty well in this box. Okay, let me leave this out because I want to show you guys what I got. Okay, so um, I follow Maddie of Maddie Plans on Instagram and she posted some really beautiful um, markers. I think they were Tombow markers that she was using as highlighters and I loved them. I thought they were so beautiful, but I just didn't wanna spend like $20 on highlighters or I don't know how much they were, $13 something like that. They were like over $10. Um, and I just, you know, I'm like kind of easing my way back into the planner community. So I was just trying to rein it in and not like go all out. So I decided to look around and see if I could find, um, any other options. And I found these Crayola skin colored, um, washable markers. And you can see here, it says they're the multicultural colors and they're beautiful this was i think five dollars or less for this whole pack and i kind of went through and tested them and these four are my most favorite so if you're into this really like clean chic um aesthetic and you want a really minimal planner and you want these highlighters that are you know just kind of like the nudes and um skin colors then get these so let me show you guys the four that i really love okay this one is called beige and it's kind of like just a pinkish color and then this one is bronze bronze yeah bronze so pretty this one is sepia. That's really pretty too. And then this one is apricot. I love this one. I think apricot is my most favorite, um, but it does come with 10. I just really like these four, but there's other ones in here too. I like these cause they're light enough to be highlighters. Um, but you can also, you know, use the other ones for decoration as well. So I was super excited to find these at a really affordable price. And then I did also order a mild liner. Um, this was the only one that I could find that was a single one. I found a lot of the packs and I just didn't want um, like 10 different shades of gray. Like I just wanted one gray highlighter because there wasn't gray in that one. So I ended up getting this one. It has a bold um, end and then a fine tip as well. And it's just like a really pretty um, light gray color. So I also use this as a highlighter. And if you guys um, aren't following Maddie yet on Instagram, you should check her out because she posts beautiful um, photos of her planner. All right, you guys, I saved the best for last. Okay. I am obsessed with these sticky notes. Okay. These all came together. I can't remember the price. Now, I think these did come from overseas. So they took a little bit longer to arrive, but gosh, look at them. There's eight of them and they are all these beautiful neutral shades and they're beautiful different shapes. There's circles. There's, are these hexagons? I don't know what this shape is. And look, I mean, there's so many of them and they come in like light greens and neutral shades. Um, there's kind of these gray colors and then there's darker ones. This is like kind of a fun neon shade for summer. These are beautiful. Like look how nice they match with these. Oh my gosh. I just love them so much. I hope you guys can see these. Let me take them out of the packaging. So like those colors are pretty true to, um, yeah, it's a looking a little brighter on the screen. These are a little more muted um, and neutral. These are perfect for fall. There's like these lighter ones. I just, oh my gosh, I love them. And these do stick pretty well. So these are kind of the bluish gray tones. Oh my gosh, I just, I love these so much. I love the shapes, just very like clean, classic, 
adds a little pop to your planner, but nothing crazy. And the packaging is so beautiful. So if you want to put them on your desk, they even look pretty um, on your desk. So anyway, this was definitely my most favorite Amazon planner purchase. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed these. Let me know what was your most favorite thing um, of all the things that I ordered. And if you found any planner supplies on Amazon that you think I should know about, please leave them down below and share them with everyone so that we can also grab them as well. If you did enjoy this, could you please do me a favor and thumbs up this video and make sure you're subscribed. I'm sure you guys have heard, but the algorithm all over social media, Instagram, YouTube, all that stuff is really out of whack. And um, a lot of us content creators are just doing this to share the things that we love. And because um, this is a passion for us and it's kind of disheartening when we um, are kind of matched with this like algorithm that is not very favorable. Um, this is not my full-time job. Like I said, I just do it because I enjoy sharing and I love the community that we have. So I really appreciate you guys sharing this video, subscribing, and um, telling your friends. So anyway, thank you guys again so much. I hope you liked this. Join me on Instagram, and I will see you guys again real soon. Bye.